Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to No Good Noel. Last time, we got shanghaied by this bozo into... Into, ro uh, into stealing what apparently is actually his. Th so we're, I guess we're stealing something back. S sadly, we had to get Shanghai into this because N Noel isn't quite cool enough to be completely gung-ho like I am about stealing stuff. <laughs> uh, ah well. <laughs> so, let's, but let's get right into it, shall we? Let's get right into, well, Burglary. Exhausted, Noel goes to bed. She doesn't get to sleep very long, though, since she wants to be on time for work. After all, being punctual seems to be about the only quality Master Yudalainen cares about. Oh god, this guy's voice again. Um... Morning. You look awful. Thank you. You're no catch yourself. Are you sick? Don't come in sick. I don't want the disease. No, no, I'm just tired. If so, get to Snowflakes. Final trial starts. Um, actually, since I didn't get much sleep, I don't think I learned those snowflakes yet. Hmm. I think I'll just practice easy ones today. That is fine, but I can't pay you yet, even if you fill clouds. About that, I'm not so sure I get it. Get what? Money? Yes, you don't. You're overseeing my snowflakes, but you know they're of passable quality. The only thing missing is the official license. So why can't I get paid? No license, no pay. You'll be paying me for the same exact thing once I do have the license? Yes. Bloody bureaucracy. Can't you make an exception for me until I do get it? No special conditions. Gets confusing and illegal and annoying. <sighs> the bureaucracy is expanding to meet the needs of the expanding bureaucracy. God damn. If I had a hammer and enough time, I'd break every last one of their skulls. Anyways. You'll get your license soon. Hold on only a little more. It's just that there was this little catastrophe at home. Crying won't help you. Life is hard, Noel. You need grit. With grit, you can go through even grey stones. Yeah. True. <laughs> I suppose. Ah. Uh, if only she had the grit to just t uh, to have just told her mother, no, fuck off, years ago. Then maybe she would have had years worth of. So many more hours a day to study and get better. Alas. Grit or not, Noelle makes low-level snowflakes all day long. For free. Unfortunately, as promised, Yule is waiting for her after she clocks out. Ah, look at your eyes light up at the sight of me. Let's get this over with. I've devised us a simple little plan to get around Ivy's defenses. Ivy's defenses? You make it sound like she's guarding a fortress or something. Like she's got security turrets and shit. Even you should be able to do it. Alright, hit me. And then he punches her. Can I really? Yule raises his hand, hopeful. Man after my own heart. I didn't clue me on all- I didn't clue me in on the plan, goddamn you! <laughs> oh well. Maybe next time, huh? Let's go to your place. We're going to need some pen and paper. You know, for someone who- For someone who's ex- For someone who's extorting me, you're a pretty fun guy to be around. Uh, mother is home, herding the kid. Hurting? <laughs> okay. Oh! Who is this? I guess it's a a fairly accurate considering she seems to treat her children like beasts of burden. <laughs> um, well... 
a fellow apprentice. I hope you don't mind us doing some studying. He sure lies fast. It's a useful skill to have. More, more, even more important than lying well is lying fast. Because people aren't very, aren't very smart about these sorts of things. They'll see, they'll be, get suspicious, suspicious at silly things like hesitation and such. Even though someone who rattles off a lie, some, even though skilled people can at this sort of thing can rattle off a lie much with much less hesitation than someone can rattle off the truth. But oh well. Because we're doing it anyway. No, oh no. Not at all. Feel free to use the kitchen. She vanishes somewhere, but the amount of noise in the house doesn't lessen at all. The kids are playing and squealing about something or another. It's all clearly irritating Yule. And that makes Noelle happy. <laughs> nice. So, what's the plan? You're writing an- You're writing Ivy a heartfelt, groveling apology letter. She's not going to read it. Noelle sits down to write it anyway. Nothing comes to mind. At least, anything she hasn't already said. I feel like I'm just picking another fight at this point. Dear Ivy, I've reflected upon our last conversation and want to apologize. Noelle rolls her eyes. I don't, though. I still stand by what I said. Write it. Yeah, just... You're right not to want to apologize. You don't have... You don't really have anything to apologize for. So you'll just have to fill it with bullshit. Ple pleasing bullshit. Frankly, that's a good idea in, t in general in terms of apologies. Because people tend to eat up bullshit far better than they do the truth, even when you are genuinely sorry. Eh, but that's just generally the case in general. That's a weird way to phrase that, but you know what I mean. Begrudgingly, she does as she's told. I understand now how selfish I was, and how thoughtless. She's selfish and thoughtless too! I'm doing this all for my family, well... No one cares, just write it. Making snowflakes isn't the same without you. Is this an apology letter or a love letter? I just want our friendship back, though I understand if you don't. Your pen isn't moving, Noelle. Well, the thing is, I don't know... I don't know do... Oh, hang on. Well, the thing is, I don't... I don't know... Do I want it back? That... Doesn't make sense grammatically. I... Is it supposed to be I don't know if I do want it back? I get what you're saying. Anyways. <laughs> or, I mean, I do, but not if it means kowtowing to her completely batshit standards. Like, if she had a miscarriage, she'd expect me to get an abortion. If it's babies you want, I'll fill you up later. Just write the damn letter already. <laughs> Is that a promise, y'all? <laughs> Alright then. What? No! That was just an example! Write the letter. Noel. But it's not what I want to say. Do you honestly think this has anything to do with that? Huh? All I need is you inside that house. You're going to write whatever it takes to achieve that. Screw your friendship. And screw her, apparently. <laughs> oh. Right. All right. You will compose this the sappiest apology letter. Noelle doesn't agree with any of it. That's probably for the best. But she writes it all down and then heads off to deliver the letter. Standing in front of their mailbox, Noelle hesitates. I think I should rewrite it after all. Fascinating. Jewel snatches the letter from her, and drops it in the mailbox. There. You're welcome. 
go read that and know I didn't mean any of it. If anything, my fake apology is only going to make her angrier. I doubt that. Yes. You vastly over uh, underestimate people's willingness to buy complete bullshit when it's what they want to hear. Now, when she gets in touch with you, you will reiterate what we wrote. <clears throat> yes, you will. And there won't be a single excuse or but I added. Fine, but I think it's not going to work. She's going to come to you, but since your house is such a pleasant place right now, you'll relocate to hers. And if you come out of that house without at least one sphere, you are not getting your license. Hmm. So we only have to get one sphere, not both, is that right? Or will it... Hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Huh. I said, do you understand? Yes! Great. Now go be a good girl at home and wait. And we cut some onions to get the tears rolling. Like I can afford any onions right now. And you seem so confident this is going to work. Am I supposed to believe a teenage girl's mind is somehow more complicated than this? <laughs> She's 20. Whatever. Go home before I drag you there by the hair. Wow. That's a lot more than I expected her to be. Especially with the way she was acting. <laughs> I liked you better when you were pretending to be nice. Aw, poor Noel. Why don't you go home for now? You must be tired. I am, and I will. Just don't get angry at me when this doesn't go the way you think. Let me worry about that. I'll drop by later. Wonderful. Can you not make it the middle of the night this time? Yule doesn't seem- it doesn't deem Noel worth responding to. Nor saying goodbye to, for that matter. He just walks away without sparing Noel as much as a glance. What's with the attitude? Aren't I doing you a favor right now? Though her own attitude wasn't any better. Yeah. Uh... She goes home, thinking of all the things she wrote to Ivy. I mean... <laughs> You're, you're one to talk, Noelle, considering how, considering how poor you're at it. Yeah. It's just not right. Why do I always have to be the one to apologize anyway? <clears throat> Good question, Noelle. Although at least in this case, it's for the, it's... You can t you can see what. Uh... Good question, Noel. Although at least in this case, it's for a definite end goal. Yeah. Good fucking question, Noel. Because Ivy is a immature child, I guess. That's why. That, uh, an image. She's 10 at 20. Later that evening, there's a loud knocking at the door. Please don't be Yule. Noel opens the door, already done with his crap. But the one standing outside is Ivy. Oh. She is holding Noel's letter in her hands, in a state Noel has never seen before. I... I got your letter. I... I got your letter. Oh crap. Noelle! She leaps into Noelle's arms. Oh crap, it actually worked. It is not that she isn't happy to see Ivy. She's just upset that Yule was right. And she's upset now. She'd have no excuse not to carry on with his plan. I didn't... I didn't think you'd ever get it, you blockhead! Ugh. I'm so glad you finally came around! I was... 
And here I thought you were crying because you finally realized what a heel you were being. Nope. You're, you really are that self-centered. Ivy looks at the mess that is their kitchen. Hold up. What happened here? Noelle pauses. She can already see how this is going to look. Noelle's going to think Noelle is begging her for forgiveness. Begging for her forgiveness simply because she needs money. <sighs> Noelle figures it doesn't matter if she changes the story a bit. She's already established herself as a cheating scumbag who omits information when it suits her. Might as well keep going. This relationship was on its way out anyway. This? It's been like this for a while. Yep. Like a week or so. Oh, oh crap. I had no idea. You should have told me. I could have at least come help clean up a bit. Yeah, sorry. But you know, this is exactly why I need to... Well, remember is what you all told her. That she shouldn't make excuses or explain herself. The only thing that matters is getting those fears from Ivy's house. I mean, I just didn't want to be a bother. You're so busy with your studies since the master was coming and everything. Oh, Noel. I would have made time. I'd never turn my back on you when you're in need. Ahem. <coughs> Bullshit. Quite so. Thanks, Ivy. I wish I could offer you some snacks or something, but... <laughs> Wanna come over to my place? I've got, I got snacks there. Score. <laughs> You're looking to score, are you, Noelle? That's certainly one way to do this. Yeah, that'd be great. Entering Ivy's place, Noelle takes special notice of all the things on display. But she can't t spot any spheres with eyes or fingers inside them. You can go wait in my room. I'll make you some hot chocolate. Huh? Oh, cool, thanks. You want it cool? What? Is, every is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm lacking sleep is all. Okay... Well, you can go take a nap. I'll be right there. It'd be suspicious to insist on staying here, so Noelle goes to wait in Ivy's room. Soon enough, Ivy shows up with some hot chocolate and cookies. Ta-da! The snacks! Just as the prophecy foretold. Huh. So you were clairvoyant this whole time. Very impressive. Correct! Haha! <laughs> but never in a million years could I have predicted you'd actually apologize to me. What a bizarre statement. Noelle's always the one to reach out first and try to talk things out. Though her IV doesn't seem to count, unless it's a complete acceptance of her being right all along. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know a lot of people like her. It just isn't the same without you. Making snowflakes. About, uh, about that, what are you going to do now? Did you step down from being an apprentice yet? Hell no. Do you really think I should? Well, gee, I don't know. You don't like doing it, and I don't like you doing it. Tough call here, hmm. But, but I mean, you saw my house. Ivy's brow furrow. She takes a long sip of her chocolate drink. Whatever, I'm not here for this. Yeah, I'm thinking of calling it quits. I just need to find something else to make money off of. Like delivering those ads and stuff? That and some other things. Don't worry, I know you'll find something. You always do. She doesn't get it. 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 Oh, I've been tinkering with some new designs. Wanna see? Sure. I figured I'd. I figured I'd keep at it. I'm sure some other master will take me under their wing. She pulls out some sketches. There's a lot. Ivy must have stayed cooped up in her room this whole time, designing away. Like, 
Like this here? I can almost conjure this one. Maybe make some snowflakes. And well, they look exactly like the sketches she showed. See? Almost there. As for these ones... Well, it's looking. But not really. Huh. Where'd that one go? Hold up. It's here somewhere. I, I'll go use the restroom while you look. With Ivy busy, Noelle gets back to snooping around. There's nothing here. Jewel said he could see one from the window. Noelle positions herself in front of the window and lets her gaze wander. It's when she spots it. A small glass sphere has rolled behind a picture frame. She yanks that sucker out of there and puts it in her pocket right away. Hey, Ivy? I just realized how late it is. I need to go get- uh, I, didn't, I need to go help get the kids to bed. Alright. Are you coming over for dinner tomorrow? I- Yeah. If that's fine. Why wouldn't it be? Dummy, you're overthinking again. Go do your thing. I'll find that drawing in the meanwhile. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Oh, and Noel? Yeah? I'm glad we got to patch things up. She beams a smile at Noel. Noel wants to die. <laughs> Me too. Bye. I'm the worst. I'm the worst, I'm the worst, I'm the worst, I'm the worst! You're, do you're doing what you can to survive. If she doesn't get it, then to hell with her. Uh, welcome home, sweetie. You were out late tonight. Uh, I was at... Uh, I was at I... Why is he here? You'll raise at Noelle while sipping hot water. Didn't you have some study to complete together? I can't believe you forgot. What would Master think of that? I didn't forget. In fact, I was looking for you. At Ivy's? I'm going to lie, at least play along. <laughs> uh, we should go back to the workshop and finish things up. We should go back to the workshop and finish things up. Study, partner. Mother lets out a heavy sigh. Well... I really don't like you running around so late at night. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll bring her back, I promise. And with that, Yule drags Noelle out with him. Did you get it? Yeah, I have it. Noelle is about to dig the sphere out of her pocket, but Yule protests. No, no. Just take it with you. Okay? That's him. Hmm. Interesting response. Does he not want to take it out in, within city limits? Where are we going? It's not too far. That's not what I asked. And you sure know your way around now. It's only been a few days since you were lost here. You will laugh. You still think I was lost? Ah. I guess you were just creeping around here for no reason then. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I was creeping around for you specifically. Or actually, either you or Ivy. But looking at it now, thank goodness it was your dumbass that showed up. I'd have no idea what strings to pull with Ivy, since she's so well off. I... That's okay. You don't have to say anything. We're here. Yule starts ascending up a mountain. It's not too steep, it's steep, but it's certainly not welcoming either. They climb up until they reach a crevice. After you. Just a reminder, my mom wants me back home alive. If I wanted you dead, there was ample opportunity to do you in already. The crevice opens up into a surprisingly large cave. At the very back of the place sits a creature perfectly still, a faint frost covering it. Is that an imp? She'd never seen one in person. 
Is it dead? Field away. Take out the sphere. Here you go. Noelle digs the sphere out of her pocket, offering it to Yule. He doesn't take it. I can't touch it. Just smash it down. I need the eye from inside it. I shatter this thing and the eye might get cut too. I'll take my chances. And what exactly happens if I break this sphere? How did that if get in there? Just break it. You'll see. It's just I'm a little curious as to what kind of horrid mistake I'm about to commit. You'll shrug. Fuck around and find out. I... Okay, listen here, you. Ooh, oh ho, scary, scary. What is it? Tell me, tell me. You're asking me for a favor right now. So as per your example, I'm going to be a complete ass about it. And that includes me prying into all your personal business. So spit it out. What is this about? And then I'll maybe help you. Maybe. Wanting to get to know me, are we? I'm so flattered. Not. Well? Alright, listen close. That's me. That thing. Huh. He points at the creature, sealed in place. Handsome, I know. And that there in your hand? That's my eye. They took my fucking eye! I want it back. Simple, yes? What does it matter if you're sealed away anyway? I'm only sealed because parts of me are missing. How do you not know this? Well, I'm not a mage. Ah, sorry, I forgot. You've been living in that village for so long. Most of you can't even use magic anymore, huh? Dumb snow sprites. Can't even make snowflakes. <laughs> so you're an imp. What of it? Why are you sealed away? Ask Ivy's mother. Well, she's not here right now, so I'm asking you. I mean, the mages don't just go around sealing every imp they see. He must have done something. And how do you know they don't? For all you know, he could be the victim of horrible racism. Not really. I ate some brat. Why? Why do you think? I was hungry. You could have eaten literally anything else. Well, maybe not. What do you know about hunger, Noelle? You're Ivy's little lapdog. Sing and dance and she'll throw you scrapped whenever. <laughs> well, there aren't any Ivies around here. That brat wandered here all on her own. If you're that dumb, you get what you deserve. Well, you got exactly what you deserve, too. I deserve to be sealed away for the rest of my life because someone didn't look after their offspring? You ate a child! I was hungry. Be happy you weren't killed off for that. Hey. To be fair, you don't. He might be underselling things a bit here. He might have been starving to death for all you know. <laughs> In which case. That's not an unreason. It's, hell, it could be that imps are just like pushed to the margins of society and he was out there starving to death because he wasn't allowed in actual civilization and he was trapped in there because if he went out he'd freeze to death in the wilds but in there he was starving to death there was a, a damned if you do damned if you don't situation and then the child wandered in and he had no choice but to eat it if he wanted to survive maybe I don't know or he might just be a douchebag I don't know I'D RATHER BE KILLED OFF! What kind of sick punishment is this? Just leave me to rot, why not? Well, says nothing to that. Now, I mean, that's a good point, I mean. I mean, there's a reason why, even in places with the death penalty, indefinite solitary confinement is still not a legal punishment. It's... It's... It's extremely inhumane. Yule fixes his composure. 
Well, I mean, I should know, after all. Alright, enough of this. I told you what you wanted to hear. It kinda just brought on more questions. Like, if that thing over there is you, what am I talking to right now? Right, this is just some guy I possessed. Huh. So if I break, if I break this sphere, you'll let him go? Nah, he's, a, he's dead already. I don't have enough power to possess the living. Oh, so... Seeing as I'm sealed off, will you break the sphere already? I assume you also wouldn't have the power to kill someone so you could take over their body. Uh, so... It's alright, you just took some dead... Uh, you just possessed some, some corpse. That's... Morally neutral, I'd say. I still want to know... No. Exposition hour is over. Break the sphere! <laughs> Fine. Well, throws a sphere at Yule. He covers his face by reflex. But he didn't have to. When the sphere is about to come in contact with him, it gets repelled off. The force of it knocks Yule slightly off balance. Meanwhile, the sphere hits the crevice wall and shatters. Real mature, Noel. Yule goes to pick up his eye. Even the remaining shards avoid him. He then walks up to his real body and unceremoniously sticks the eye back into its frozen socket. Nothing happens after that. Did it, uh, not work? No, it's working. I can tell my magic is being freed. Might be able to possess a living snow sprite now. Is that a threat? What a fake. I'm just kidding. I'm fine with this one. Great. Wow. You you don't think you don't think my body is good enough for you? How dare you? So was you your actual name or is it the body's name then? But I'm still missing a finger. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere at Ivy's place too. Unless her bitch of a mother handed it off to someone else or something. Okay, well, you're welcome. Feeling like I did you a much larger favor than you're doing me, but all right. What about my snowflake maker license? Hmm, indeed. I knew it. Ah, oh, come on, I'm kidding again. Lighten up. Of course I'll help you, of course. Will you honestly? Well, actually, he'll help you dishonestly, because you're cheating, remember? Yep, I told you. I'm nice. Let's get you back home, shall we? Well, I can imagine being one step closer to freeing yourself from your eternal solitary confinement is... Well, it, it would certainly put anyone in a good mood. <laughs> well, I'm up there. I'm happy for you, Yule. No, I'm not sure anyone deserves this sort of crap, even if you did eat a child. Noelle knows there is nothing Yule can say or do that would make her trust him. He was either going to help her, or he wasn't. All she could do was wait and see. Lead the way. I don't like you walking behind me. Especially after your little jokes. Well, I can't find the damn place on my own. See, so you're going to have to start liking it. What do you mean? We just came from there. How are you lost already? <laughs> Magic, that's hell. Obviously. I'm not. Your village is a mirage to anyone who isn't a snow sprite. And... I guess you don't count, even if you might or might not be possessing the body of a snow sprite. I'm not entirely certain who, what the person you possessed was, but you look... How else do you think you guys have been living there so cozily all this time? Honestly, Noelle had no idea of any of this. So much of uh, the ancient lore is just lost to the, lost to the mists of time. Alas. She was starting to think scraping by, delivering ads, and washing shoes was actually a pretty comfortable life. And she was eager to get back to it. Now if only she, she, 
Now, if only she could get that license. I know it's not any of my business, but what are you going to do, going to do now? Help my best friend Noelle out, of course. Ha! I mean about your missing finger. I'm sure my darling Noelle will feel grateful to me after getting her license and help me out again. Yeah, right. We'll see about that. Seems like a bad idea to free you. I have to think of all the children you'd eat. It's not like there aren't any extras. At your house in particular. Ha! <laughs> Noelle gives him a death glare. Oh, come on. Do you honestly think I'll be sticking around so that Ivy's mother can seal me away again? Through that, I'm out of here the second I'm free. Oh. Getting attached to him already, are you? <laughs> no. Yeah. Don't you worry. I'll go eat someone else's kids. Well, that's good, I guess. What's the matter? Uh, getting attached to him already, are you? Are you going to miss me? Ugh, I'm exhausted. She is an exhausting person, I suppose. They make it back to the village without an argument. I'm going to try the last trial tomorrow. Sounds good to me. You'll make the snowflakes when I cover my ears again, right? Boring. How about I? How about you give a little twirl and go wee snowflakes instead? How about no? It's decided then. But no, I'm not doing that. We'll see. Good night. Ah, Jewel. Jewel, that's idiotic. I'm not doing it. Jewel doesn't care. He just appears off to somewhere. Probably to peek through Ivy's windows, looking for the sphere with his finger in it. I hate you. And this was the beginning of a glorious and beautiful romance. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> uh, next up will most likely be the final episode. I imagine. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know how much left, left there is in this game, but... Oh well, is it a short video? It's a short video. When we return, hopefully, Noelle will be uh, official snowflake maker apprentice. And everything will be just fantastic. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, Unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.